Common to Kings Lynn, Anglia Car Auctions. My name is Bryn Muscle White. This is Mr. Guy Snelling. Hello, Bryn. Nice <laughs> to see you back. <laughs> Just I left that yeah. hanging there, yeah. didn't I? <laughs> Sorry. This is Guy Snelling. Guy is the man who is responsible for commissioning a lot of these cars into the auction. We're in Norfolk, in England, depending on where you're watching this. The date today is the Friday. Friday the 4th. It's a fifth. It's Friday the fifth. Bonfire because night. Bonfire night for people around the world. It's when a long time ago something happens that's really Someone really called Guy. Yeah, somebody called Guy. Got burnt. Yeah. Yes. So, politics aside, here we are. We are here for the whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We will be live streaming from midday tomorrow. No, we're live streaming from midday. So, yep. the sale starts at 10.30. Yep. Automobile. With the automobile, yeah. But live stream on YouTube from 12 o'clock. From tomorrow. 12 o'clock. And we've got how many lots to get through this weekend, Guy? How we're many cars? Push, well, 250 odd cars. And then we've got, including number plates and motorcycles, we've got probably pushing 480 to 500 lots Jeez. in this weekend sale. So we're really, it's really, one, isn't it? really, really, it's a big sale. Ace, um, and we have chosen to start this little preview walk around. We're only going to walk through one hall, which I must say is looking rather lovely. A little bit brighter. Yeah. The ceilings have been painted. So yeah. in the summer, we've got no issues with light at all. The, the yeah. days are long. Obviously, winter nights coming in just painted the ceiling it's just given us that lifted up extra, a little bit. extra light so we can display cars such as this but now yes I was talking good. age Sunbeam Sunbeam 1925 so we were working out maths it took us a little bit of a while to, yeah. to work Nin- out how many 96, 96 years old 96, 96 years old, years old which in, in human years is a huge achievement but this thing having made it this far yeah. now this the, the story I like about this is what gets, I think, me really, really interested in a lot of these cars is they've got a backstory. Yep. Now, this was sent out to South Africa as a chassis, engine and chassis, yep. when it was new. Which was what happened to a lot of cars. It's not unusual a lot. No. But it's a life. It's been a hearse. Yeah. yeah. It's also been a recovery truck with a crane on the back. Yeah. It came back to England in 19... 19- 89, it's quite well known in the Sunbeam circles, and this body was beautifully created. And we were just really commenting but so well the doors fit. It's yeah, if you've been here during this week, we will move on to other cars. This is how infused we get about all these cars. You can just see the profile of the door here. It's a proper thick door. It's not just a fabric panel, a bit of plywood. And I'm not sure if you're going to hear it. I'm going to get my microphone a little bit closer. <coughs> I mean, come on. Sorry. And do you that, know what this, this leather is? Do you know what the hide is? I dread to think. We're told it's water buffalo. Water buffalo. Now, that was <coughs> clearly from a time when water buffaloes could be harvested for their hides. Yeah. Um, but what a, what a fantastic car. So yeah. I really, really, really like this. And that's the thing with these classic cars that we like to bring you, is that they've all got their stories. The, the Rover P2 here. Um, this, we, is, this is just pre-war. So this is 1939. Yep. And just round the corner, we've got a post-war P3. That's They're very... Cool. Very similar cars, but um, a really just have you seen the elegance to it? Patination of that interior, the, yeah. the lead is absolutely stunning, and the Art Deco detailing on the door there, and the sculpture, and the, the scalloping of that front door, the way it sort of teardrop shapes down. I mean, um, talking of what was everywhere, yeah, um, a very very common car back yep. in the sixties, on the road in the seventies, is this A fifty five Cambridge. Yep, and when a car spends many, many years not being particularly valuable, it's quite unusual to find one that someone has looked after so well and just spent time and money on. It really is in super condition. I yeah, really, I, really like that one. I've always wanted an estate version of the A55, the A60. And I'm just with these badges on this grill bar here. I'm not sure if you're actually going to get to see them, but there's one for St. Christopher one for a motoring club, there's one for Cornwall, and there's a skull and crossbones there as well. So I'm going to come back and look at that in a short while and work out what that one is. Interesting. Yeah, well, yeah. it's come from the West Country, so... Well, pirates, significance there. I'm yes. originally from Somerset, you can tell by my thick West Country accent. Um, now, I commented that maybe these TVRs were a little bit of a lost era, um, and you said that actually quite the opposite. These are really in. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great show. I'm not here for my expertise. 
Um, I'm not quite sure why I'm here in that case, but that's open. Yeah, let's have a little look. So, what I like about this, you've got a really... That is literally as far forward as it goes, isn't it? That's as far forward as it goes, wow. yeah. 2.9 litre Ford V6, fuel yep. injected. So, you know, spares availability yeah. is no issue whatsoever. Yeah. TVR, fiberglass body, steel chassis. Um, just been MOT'd and we lent it out about two weeks ago for a road test. So it was in Classic Car Weekly this Wednesday, actually. Okay, so this car and the Mazda. And the Mazda. And you did actually take this out for a drive in one of the videos, maybe? Yeah. yeah. So if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, do it now because there are preview videos of a lot of these cars that you can have a look at the condition, take them out for a little drive um, with the team here. Guy took this out. Now, as you mentioned, this was featured in Classic Car Weekly. Yeah, I'm talking well. about condition. Yeah. Now, if you were ever going to buy a car solely on condition, I mean, this really would take I some mean, beating. You it's can fix stunning. panel work, you can respray things, but you, you cannot can't replicate an interior. You can't like make a car no. look this good. Just it's, that. It's, it's stunning. That go and it's hard. It must have been garaged because, you know, the dash top isn't it's cracked, not faded. It's not faded. It's a really, really yeah. special car. I love that also the, the detailing that the door seals are, are the same colour as the interior. They're not just like a, a generic cover all black or grey yeah. or something like that. They've got yeah. it right. And of course, it's got a wankel rotary engine. Yeah, that, and everyone always says they're unreliable and all that stuff. They're just poorly maintained. They're not unreliable. So it's just yeah. like the Stag V8s back in the day. I know they've yeah. done experiments with them now and all sorts of stuff, but I'm getting distracted by iconic 1970s Mercedes saloons. The 116 large, series. Yeah, the 116 are so imposing, aren't they? Yeah, really, really. And again, I think much like the RX-7 condition. Yeah, very, very important. On a car of this age, it's really great to see all the important trim bits, everything looking correct, bumpers. It's not, it's just... Something I'd never noticed before is this twin fluted stainless steel trim here on the A-pillar. I'd actually never seen that before. It's, it's kind of for two, some form of um, noise reduction, reduction, either noise yeah. reduction or you just at 150 miles an hour, it will remain stable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great. I mean, just the interior on this as well is comparable to the RX-7. Just the the condition of it, and, and you've guided this at. 17 and a half to 20. If you want to know any more details about any of these cars oh, yeah, and the should, rest in the sale, should say, yeah, yeah, www.angliacarauctions.co.uk. Do register to bid if you're interested in any of the cars. It's not too late. You need to go on the website, you need to click on one of the uh, lots and click the bid, big red bid button. You will then go through, you need to register, you need to pay a deposit. Um, if you've got any queries, please just get in touch. Yeah. Um, we're still answering the phones tonight. We're Is still answering yeah, emails. In the office. It's half past There's six on Friday night. There's still bids coming through. And as you can see, it's... The variety of cars. Well, like you said, there's over, well over 200 cars, 250 cars here. This is just one small section of it. Bentley um, Mark VI Special. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Wouldn't you, sir? <laughs> it's, it's, it's fantastic. I bet it sounds Padgett, amazing Padgett as well. Special as well, well-known uh, special maker. This DB24. What? What a car. So I've always admired these as being so sublime. Yeah. They're not big, shouty, brash. No. It's not tarred, and I say this with the greatest respect, it's not tarred with the James Bond brush. This is so pre, you know, it's pre um, James Bond. Yeah. Pre Ian Fleming's. Beautiful. Uh, sports tourer. It's, it's a bit like a. a an SK120, 140 on the inside there with that very upright steering wheel and these sort of flat bucket seats. Ooh, can you smell gauges. I know we can't do smell of vision, yeah. but. Just making sure that this door does not. Yeah. There we go. Smell of that leather. Lovely. And um, frameless window surround as well. Um, just as a sign of the eclecticism of this auction, right now, Bentley, we've got the Lotus and Lamb in the background there, the bubble car, the Aston Martin. Escort RS2000. Now, we all know about these. Oh, They've got RS2000. absolutely stratospheric, Fantastic. haven't they? And this is in the right colour. It's got the row styles on it. And the dark, no, it's got, yeah, the dark boards on it, I think they're called. So, um, lots of good history with this car. Um, if you want to know any more details, get on the website, 
register to bid. It is still not too late. We are here Saturday from midday live streaming and we're here Sunday from midday live streaming. The Automobilia though, some amazing lots which are just over there. There's motorbikes over there. There's another three or four halls. Get yourself involved and get online with us. Look at that. You just want to go down to the south of France and that, don't you? The slightly tarnished, right faded wood here. Yeah. Now, that, that cowl there on the top of the, the, the dash binnacle almost looks intentional. That would be some designer finish now on the outside of a, a tin shed, a bothy on a Scottish estate. So, yep. to sum up, we've got a hell of a show for you this weekend, and it is a show. Get involved. If you're not interested in buying, then come along to one of the greatest car shows, museums and it gives you a chance to sort of see the value of everything as well. So yeah, 12 o'clock with the live feed. Yep. 10.30 we're starting with the Automobilia. But, just a very quick note, just to get you all ready for 12 o'clock. First car through tomorrow is Lot 101, which is the Polo. Now it's not, um, they did a Harlequin, as you know. Yep. It's actually a, um, is it a home home? homage to a is Harlequin. A homemade Harlequin. It is. Right. Um, but it's lovely condition. Yeah. Really uh, great car. And I'd just love to see someone buying that as their first classic car. Something to, to get into, stand out, and, and enjoy it. I really see, think I was about to say, go. my son's four. You've got an older son. So are you going to buy it or am I going to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out. Super. Um, come and join us tomorrow and Sunday. Get online, subscribe to the website. And in the meantime, have a lovely, warm, comfortable Friday night wherever you are. Lovely. Thank you. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow.